Let's bring in pollster Nick Nanos now to get the latest numbers in terms of where each party stands. And Nick, advanced polling is opening today. Do you expect last night's debate to play a role? Did people change their minds? I don't think so, because what we saw, not just in the French debate last night, but the English debate earlier in the week, was basically a continuation of this campaign. Bickering, negativity, allegations, counter-allegations, people saying that they're not telling the truth. And, uh, you know, the reality is there's been no reset button or focus on a big issue in order to fundamentally change the trajectory of the campaign. Right now, the Liberals and the Conservatives are, for all intents and purposes, locked in a tie to see who would win the next election. Both the NDP and the Conservatives held off on releasing their costed platforms. Does that make a difference to voters? Does it increase the cynicism? Uh, how does that play out, Nick? Well, you know, I think for both of those parties, this was more tactical than anything else. So think of it this way. They're releasing their platform on the Friday before a long weekend. That doesn't give, for example, the Liberals and the Liberal War Room a lot of time to review the numbers in order to respond. So for both of those parties, they might get a little bit of a two or three day halo on their, uh, on their platform as opposed to releasing it at the beginning of the week where it could be attacked. So, you know, they might have taken a little bit of a bruising from Justin Trudeau mm -hmm. on this, but I think tactically they'll probably get a little bit of a slack as Canadians are deciding this weekend who they want to support, not just as preferred prime minister, but which party they want to govern. And, uh, and so the timing of this is pretty good in terms of uh, having the attention of Canadians. Let's uh, take a look at the election poll board and just show people uh, where things stand right now. A, a little bit of a dip for the Liberals. What do you attribute that to? Yeah, well, the thing is, is that the, the dip for the Liberals is generally within the margin of error. But, you know, Jennifer, if I could summarize the trend line, you know, when you, if the trend line is a bit like a caterpillar, you know, when it goes up a little bit, goes down a little bit, mm -hmm. goes, goes up. So maybe we should think of this election as a red caterpillar and a, and a blue caterpillar. And on election day, someone will step on one of those caterpillars. Ouch. I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't want to offend any of your butterfly enthusiasts who are viewers, but uh, right now we just have two caterpillars going along that are kind of neck and neck. No one has the upper hand. And uh, at some point, people are going to have to make a decision. But right now, it looks like they're holding off a decision until the very, very end. And it'll be interesting to see if a trend emerges on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Mm. Because if a trend emerges on those days, that's going to be probably the likely outcome of the next federal election. But Nick, to be clear, those are decided voters. What about the, the undecided? What about those who haven't made up their mind? How much of a factor will they play? Well, undecided voters are, are cycling down into the low teens, which is historically where they should be. And the reality is, is that most undecided voters, in most cases, usually vote the same way as decided voters. Mm. Uh, the big question is not just decided voters, it is if people will vote. Right. And watching the advanced polls this weekend, if the advanced polls are lighter than in 2015, that would be an advanced indicator that we might have a low voter turnout. And my sense is, is that most Canadians are unhappy with both of the front-running leaders and both of the front-running parties. That perhaps a low voter turnout will not benefit either one of those parties, and it'll just be a bit of a negative judgment on this whole campaign and the current political environment. Wow. It's going to come right down to the wire, it sounds like. Yep. Okay. Good to know. Thanks, Nick. Pollster Nick Nanos joining Thanks. me today before the long weekend.